After setting up the uh, boop counter prefab on your avatar, you can immediately start using the boop counter by just running the executable. As you can see, it immediately shows you a message how many boops you have, and we can manually send a message right here. Now, if there are signs that the boop counter isn't properly communicating with the yard chat, which could be shown by uh, having the send boop message button not doing anything, or the status indication not saying that it's receiving any data, in that case, you're going to want to make sure that OSC is enabled. So, to do that, open up your radial menu, go into Options, OSC, and make sure that this Enable checkbox is enabled. So, it'll refresh your avatar, and now you might need to restart your VR chat for the uh, text messages to probably show up, but the data should be uh, sending out from VR chat into the router or the boot counter. If we want to change anything about the boot counter, we can press configure and we can change the port that it receives from, the port that it sends to. We can change when the daily boops are reset. This is currently uh, 12, so lunchtime. And we can configure how uh, long the chat box is going to stay up for. So maybe we want it to stay up for a whole minute. And it's just going to stay up now for a whole minute, or as long as VRChat allows it to stay up for. And that's pretty much it. Now, a couple things to know here is that uh, currently it doesn't think that we're in an avatar, so we need to switch avatars. And it'll pick up on the avatar that we're in. One thing to note is that uh, there might be a situation where you have set up the preset on your avatar properly, but the software is going to tell you that it's not properly set up. It's not bootable. For example, if I switch into my avatar right now, it will tell you that this avatar is missing an OSC boot parameter. But if I go into um, if I go into my avatar overlay, as you can see, there's a boop contact on my nose. And if I go into the debug, uh, you will see that there is a OSC boot parameter on the left hand side. Everything's on the avatar properly. So in this case, the software is going to tell you that you need to reset your avatar config. Uh, and you can press this button. It will tell you that it will remove this avatar config and it will be regenerated via our chat. Now, once you've deleted it, you need to switch avatars to another one and then back to your normal one. Let me just do that. And as you can see, now it notices that it is bootable properly. If you've done that and it still says that you are not bookable, then something in the preset in the Unity side of things is done incorrectly. And you need to go back to the Unity side of things and make sure that you have properly set up uh, the preset. Uh, the boop counter itself has a couple of quirks. We only send messages every few seconds, and this is because if we send them too often, uh, we'll get rate limited by VRChat and we won't be able to send any messages for a couple of minutes. So if you being boop by somebody like five times a second, then you're going to see messages every two seconds and your boop amount is going to be increased by 10 seconds every time you see the message. That's just unfortunately the way we have to do things. Uh, the other thing is that only the boops that you see are going to be counted. So if you see that you've been booped, but somebody else doesn't see that you've been booped, then that boop will count and the software will pick up on it. If somebody else sees that you've been booped, on their end, but you haven't been booped on your end, then that boop will not count because you've not been booped. So boops are local. They need to be, they need to happen on your end for them to count. The next thing is that other players need to have text boxes shown uh, to be able to see the boop amount because this works with uh, text boxes, chat boxes rather. So other players need to have them shown. And usually what happens is that non-friends have text boxes hidden by default. And you can change that in the cogwheel settings right here, scrolling down and changing the local chat box visibility to everyone. Uh, other players need to do that. And I also recommend setting the chat box location to be above your head. You also need to have avatar interactions turned on for other people to be able to interact with you. And you can change that right here. And other players who want to interact with you also have, also need to have the avatar interactions turned on. That's pretty much it. You can find more information in the usage.txt file right here. Have fun.